Hey, what's up everybody? Brian with you from the Game Cabin, and we're doing our AI only championship series here in Civ 6. We are in the finals, and now we're on to the second round in the finals. Uh, the first round, we had Peter with a score of 1372, Cyrus with 1151, Molly with 1127, Simone with 1012, Gandhi 886, and Hammurabi 814. Hammurabi got last place. Huh, interesting. I don't think I remember that. So, uh, yeah, anyways, remember, it's going to be the best of the three. It's whoever... Really, Parker? It's whoever has the highest score after all three maps. So we shall see who that is going to be. I decided to try Shuffle. We'll see what the map looks like. We might end up having to switch it back to Pangea just to make it fair. Um, but I think Shuffle should give us a pseudo Pangea map, which will work. Um, and then I ended up putting these guys in order of their score. Not that that really makes much of a difference. So, uh... <laughs> this dog i'm gonna do balance and we're gonna load in and i'll be right back <sighs> all right i think we finally found a map after like four thousand resets and like multiple false starts it's like oh i think we actually have a map that's pseudo balance i swear like half of them molly ended up with like half of the continent all to themselves and i'm like what the heck i think molly is technically spawning next to the spectator that's the only thing i can think of here but yeah anyways we got india over here on the southeast which they still got a little bit of room down there uh persia then is north of them persia maybe has the least amount of room here but i mean they still also have that room over here russia's over here but russia's got a lot of barbarians to deal with now on multiple sides uh molly then is south of russia and then we got uh, grand columbia here on the southwest with babylon uh north of them so a couple things to note number one it is not remove all it's reveal all brian whoopsie <laughs> Helps if you type all. I don't know where my brain was at a couple days ago. Apparently not on coffee. So, yeah, I have no idea. Thanks to all the comments reminding me that I'm an idiot. But, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, that's such a terrible um, a Galapagos Island. Because it's like you put a city here and it's just like you miss most of it. It's like, ah, come on. Uh, put it like right here. Uh, and then the other thing is uh, it was reminded to me, and I totally forgot it, uh, but one of the commenters that, oh, Russia and Persia right now. Russia ended up just suzerainizing Nazca's troops. I'm wondering if they're going to go on the aggressive here. Uh, actually, no, they're using them for the barbarians. But anyways, uh, that what we've done in the past with our AI-only series is whoever wins, we actually do a series as them. Now, it might be a little delayed. I don't know, because we still have Gorgo going on right now. And there are supposed to be, what, the two new civs? Well, the new civ, new leader coming out here in probably about a week. And we only have four episodes left of this. And I know Gorgo... I mean, I literally am, what, three episodes ahead of this? Or probably two episodes by the time this goes live, but still... I think Gorgo might still be going. I don't think it'll still be going by the time it pops up, but we might have to delay uh, the 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 winner series. But we will definitely do a series as the winner. I just don't want to start a series and then like five episodes in the new Civ comes out and be like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> and then we're playing multiple freaking because then that would also bring the new patch, which is going to have new balance updates. And I don't know. We've been like screwing with all the XML files, which we're probably going to stop once the balance comes out or once the new patch comes out, at least for like the series or two and then we'll probably go back to screwing it the other thing i was actually thinking about is maybe playing as the first civ with like the leader of the like second place so if like russia wins we play as russia with let's say hammurabi comes in second uh, hammurabi then as like the leader i don't know i don't know i don't know it might be interesting but then again i don't know i don't know maybe you know if we really wanted to be cool we should get the winner and then redo the finals with just the top five and then see who comes in second place right <laughs> Uh, I know you guys want that, but no, 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 no. Also, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so Russia is now pushing on Persia. Keep in mind, Russia, Persia are one and two. Uh, Hercules is right there, though. So if Persia loses this now, nah, they got walls popping out. Oh, my God. Just in time on those walls, too, dude. They probably, ah, I don't know. It would have been close. I think they probably would have been okay, but it would have definitely been close had those walls not popped out. Hercules also was just saving the day there. So, okay, Russia failed their war. Um, but yeah, that's a battle of first and second place here. Russia might find themselves trapped here now, too. We'll have to see how that ends up working out. Well, honestly, it's going to come down to maybe how aggressive India is. If India and Persia are pretty friendly with each other, yeah, then um, this might be bad for Russia. Grand Colombia is settling quite far, which is, you know, good for them. They're pushing all the way up on Mali. Mali and them are actually going to be butting heads here. A lot of water on this one. That last one, I don't know. I don't know. I, I like actually having civs butt up against each other. Part of me is like, maybe you should play low sea level so everyone has a a little bit more room but then you know i don't know i like them having a lot of room by the way everyone got a golden era oh yeah no because we're not playing dramatic ages uh grand columbia molly and russia got normal ages 
Grand Columbia, Mali, and Russia. So that shouldn't make much of a difference. Now, nah, unless Persia's putting pressure on Russia, but I doubt it. Uh, it depends on where Russia puts the city. That might make a difference. Uh, we are playing Tech Shuffle, which apparently walls are fairly easy to come by because Persia's already got multiple ones. Uh, actually, they're not that easy, but they are right after bronze working. Hmm, interesting. Niter, dude, that's a very early Niter. Oh my god. It doesn't mean that you can pop out Niter units, but you know, that is a seriously early Niter. All right, so Ashtakhan is right there, not getting any loyalty pressure. Honestly, Nazca is going to be kind of big because if Persia grabs Nazca, I think then all of a sudden they're starting to put a lot of pressure on Russia here. Uh, same thing, I don't know Russia can actually take Nazca and hold it. Anas, uh, Anasai? No. Oh, frick. Every time. And, and, Anasi. 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 Anasi? Because I always wanted to say An Anasai, but Anasi, right? And Anasi? Oh, gosh, dang it. Anasai. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Uh, I, why, why? I can't think, man. Come on. Hit play. Hit play. Anansi. Anansi? That doesn't sound right. Uh, let's, let's skip here. Anansi? Anansi. Anansi? Oh, it's Ann. Yeah, it's Anansi. Anansi. Or Anansi. Because it's like Ann, right? I don't remember. Whatever. My brain will probably remember tomorrow, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll be doing, like, cleaning the house or something, and I'll be like, oh... Um, but yeah, actually, probably not cleaning the house. That's a very early, by the way, uh, 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 uh solar flare. Um, also, I did turn coast back on. So, ooh, Grand Columbia is losing the first town here. Uh, Caracas is flipping here, and it's going to flip even quicker now. I think they're getting some pressure here from Babylon and then also from Mali. I would assume it's going to flip to Mali, but honestly, I don't know if Mali can hold it. Uh, interesting Sinbad location. He actually can't take Sinbad out. Nope, he doesn't have any coastal ones, so he actually can't send them into the ocean tiles, which is unfortunate. Now, if he ends up grabbing... Yeah, if he puts a governor there, he's fine. Come on, AI. I believe in you. I believe in you. We... Did we ever figure out how to turn that policy off, by the way? I'm trying to remember if I ever figured that out, that Dark Age policy. I want to say I did figure it out, but I don't remember actually changing it. And if I did change it, I definitely didn't save the files. Um, although we're not playing with dramatic ages, so it's not that big of a deal, I guess, at this point. So Persia has a great profit, so they will have one of the... Should be, what, four religions? Correct? Yeah. So we got Babylon, India, Russia, and Persia. So literally three of the religions are right here. <laughs> so Babylon actually has a really good opportunity here to do uh, to get quite a few points there. Oh, what's the early score looking like? Gandhi right now in first place. Remember what? Gandhi was second to last. Hammurabi was in last. So, yeah, and Peter, who was in first, and Cyrus, who was in second, are now at the bottom. Which, it's early. It's early. It's early. It's early. Babylon is popping out the Jebel, though. So, that's going to be 15 points. And the Colosseum. That's 30. Caracas did flip. Uh, okay. He does have Temple of Zeus, though. So, maybe he could go take it back. I don't know. Is it flipping, though? It is. I assumed a Mali. Yeah, interesting. I honestly, it's flipping a little quicker than I expected. Because Molly's in the normal age. Yeah, but so is Grand Columbia. This will actually flip before the next one, but Grand Columbia is absolutely destroying Molly right now. Beowulf got grabbed by Hammurabi. Uh, is there any heroes? There are no heroes here involved. Uh, and Molly's actually kind of getting crapped on here by barbarians as well. So yeah, Molly's in a bad spot. Timbuktu with the clutch walls, though. But Gao is actually going to fall. Yeah, it looks like Gao is going to fall. So it's not going to be all for loss. Here's the big thing. Caracas is probably then not going to flip in time before the end of the era. So maybe golden era here, and then he can uh, do some work. We shall see. So he can't hold on to Gal, although it's only at negative 16 or 16 turns. Yeah, that's actually not that bad. Huh. Okay. I kind of anticipated it being a little worse. Still says it's going to Molly. Really, though? I feel like that's not right. I feel like because you got seven right here. I guess he got 10. But Bogata should also have it. Bogata. 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 Why can't I say that right? Bogata. I think he gotta like roll, right? Which, yeah, good luck on that. I think it's going to I think it's going to Grand Columbia. Uh, it's 0.5 difference right now. Interesting. Grand Columbia's trying to take it back. Uh, they have one of their Commodore Generals. 
Uh, and unfortunately, they got Sindad, which is like pretty much the worst one to grab. <laughs> Especially on the Panjam map, but yeah. They also put down a Chingieti down there, which is unfortunate because that's not the greatest spot for it. So it is going to go to Grand Columbia. Okay. And now Timbuktu is getting destroyed. Dude, Molly, what happened? Molly's been playing so well now. Interesting. Okay. Uh, not much is happening over here with except all the troops just randomly disappeared. Um, oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I knew they were still there. They just, you know, the artwork uh, for them just disappeared. It was like, uh, that's weird. So Timbuktu now is at half HP. He's still got multiple catapults there. Uh, three catapults, in fact. Although I don't know if this one can shoot. I always, I always, the range rules are still weird to me. I should know them, but like, honestly, I don't. So the one... Good thing right now, potentially, for Molly is the fact that the Spearman's the only melee troop there that can take something. Alright, what happened here? Dark Age for Molly and Persian, normal age for everyone else. Oh, the Spearman died, so he has no way to take the city now until he starts moving some troops forward. Interesting. Okay, so first era here. Let's take a quick glance at everything. Uh, Babylon seems to be doing okay. Grand Columbia, I mean, yeah, they're they're pushing really well here. That was very aggressive. This is honestly the Grand Columbia we kind of expected was a little bit more of an aggressive, successful, you know, almost Teddy-like aggression, which is working really well. India only has five cities right now, but their cities are pretty decent. Uh, I guess most everyone only has five cities, right? Two, four, you're at six. Grand Columbia is at two, four. They're technically at six, but now seven because they took Gao. And then, oh, eight, actually. Ooh. And then Molly's at uh, four. And probably going to stay at four because, yeah. Uh, Russia's only at four, two. Hmm. Yeah, well, they finally got rid of the Barbarians. And I wonder if part of their settling problems is the fact that, yeah, they had to deal with the Barbarians. Now, they're coming up maybe over here. See, I think they almost need to kind of start curving around this way. They could also come down here, and especially since Molly's kind of crapped on. He here's the thing. It would be better for Russia to actually come this way right now and start settling over here because they're just going to be able to, like, they would be able to hold. Especially if they put, like, two cities here, they would be pretty, uh, pretty safe at this point. Persia with the pikemen seems very early. What's science looking like right now for everyone? Cyrus is at, no, Gandhi's actually at 121. Gandhi's kicking everyone's butt right now. Hennessy. Yeah, it's Hennessy. There you go. <laughs> Why did my brain break it? I don't know. <laughs> Cultural Cyrus is uh, okay. Gandhi, once again, kicking butt. Hmm, interesting. Score, Gandhi's winning. I have to say wonders. Yeah, he's got the 30 wonder score. Only 12 religion. Hammurabi with only a 16 religion. Kind of disappointing considering, once again, this is all available to convert. So, you know. And... What's the tech, uh, tech looking like right now? Hammurabi is in first with 24. Only one ahead. Okay. Wonder-wise, you got uh, two and three. One for Simone, zero for Peter, zero for Cyrus, and one for Molly. Molly actually got one. <gasps> kind of surprising. Oh, yeah, they got the pyramids. And they're actually, well, <gasps> excuse me, hiccups. I was going to say they got the oracle there. Which, going to hiccup again. No, we're good. Which they could finish if they could end the war, but yeah. They're going to have to buy out uh, the end of this war here. Uh, they're going to grab Arthur. Okay. Not super useful. It looks like they might be thinking about a war with Russia. But, I mean, pikemen plus catapults? Maybe? Maybe? What else were we going to look at here? Religion? Where I saw... Oh, yeah, I want to look at heroes. Hennessy is claimed by Gandhi. Beowulf is Hammurabi. Hercules was Persia. If he could buy back Hercules for this war, that would be really great. And then Sinbad's over here with Grand Columbia. So Molly kind of needs a hero right now. Yeah, they really could. Special session. I don't know who, if anyone's friendly with Molly. Hammurabi is. I would not be shocked if Hammurabi said yes. <clears throat> yeah, I would not be surprised if Hammurabi hopped in on this. Just because, you know, they're not really at war with anyone. Um, I'm thinking it's failed, though. Yeah, it kind of appears as if it failed. Uh, Molly's starting to push back, though. Arthur got grabbed by Cyrus. Uh, yeah, so no. Oh, and they actually peaced out, too. Hmm, okay. So that did happen. I was gonna, I was like, yeah, they're gonna have to peace out here. Uh, Amazon, did you deliver? Out for delivery. Okay. <laughs> 
I love how like you know you get the alert like delivery today, and then like an hour later it's like out for delivery, and then like three hours later it's like delivered, and it's like okay, cool. I mean, probably only two of the three, but whatever. Okay, so they're actually going for Nazca, and that's what we were kind of thinking was going to be the best. Persia is going to be the. I don't think Russia could hold it. Well, St. Petersburg is only size two. Um, but we do keep seeing like blizzards and stuff hitting, which is, I think, part of the population issue. And it's kind of surprising. Russia's getting their butt kicked via population. Uh, they just peace Nazca. Uh, okay. That's strange. I don't think I've ever seen an AI piece a city state that they were currently conquering. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I mean, sure. Save it for later. I love how that's Caribbean Sea. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's not technically a sea, but uh, yeah, I know canal potential. Canal freaking potential, man. Really, just any city through here, you got canal because there's no hills here. So if this does not get canaled by the end of the game, we riot, man. We freaking riot. Everyone loses. <laughs> Give me another six players. <laughs> These guys are all officially eliminated. Ugh. If you can't make the easy canal, then. Mm. Oya got claimed by uh, Simone. Oya is, I think, honestly, I think Oya's kind of bad. So here's my thing, like, Oya's a move, the 40 damage, is it 40 damage? Seems really, really great, until you realize that, like, if you have a massive tech advantage, like, let's say you have an Oya that does, how much damage is she doing right now? She does 54 melee strength, and like, let's say the AI has a bunch of warriors. Cool. I mean, the only nice thing is if you can AoE multiple units with her, but that's not like always the most feasible thing to like send a unit. Like, she almost needs more speed, I think, to work out right. She's got six movement, ignores all movement penalties, eh, maybe. I don't know. I just, I feel like, I feel like rarely do I ever get to use lies. Cause like, if I'm in a war, I almost always am gonna be near the tech like, unless of course they declare war on me, but like if I'm declaring war on someone else, I'm gonna have as much tech or as advanced tech as they are, would be my assumption here. So Babylon's having some issues here with the barbarians. I mean, it can be good, but like, and the fact that it's only 40 damage is also like, eh, if it was 50, maybe, maybe. I just, I feel she's on the weaker side. I still, I still honestly believe Beowulf and uh, Hercules are one, two. Well, uh, Sinbad's probably one, but then Beowulf, Hercules, I think. And then... I still have not really gotten a chance to use the twins ever. Mulan's interesting because she's got the range strength. Uh, NSC, I like. Just because you can destroy the resources, although, once again, that's not necessarily as useful. You can troll with it, but, like, it doesn't necessarily help you win. So it's like, okay, you can troll. I'd probably have more fun with it in a multiplayer game. <laughs> just trolling people. Um, but I actually kind of like Maui better. Just because, like, he can create something, you know? Although, by the time you get him, sometimes you're kind of like, alright, well, where am I going to use it? You know, it's only going to get utilized in later cities, so probably they would be... I would probably, like, tier rank them if I had to, like, rank them. Mm -hmm. And I think Sinbad, Hercules, Beowulf are probably tier one for me, for sure. I would put Mulan probably top of tier two. Probably put Arthur there as well, just because Arthur's got really good melee strength. I still don't really like the idea of, like, basically killing off a unit. Uh... Basically giving a death wish to a, your, one of your units. The only way that would be useful, in my opinion, would be if you have something like a bunch of warriors that you just never had a chance to upgrade because you don't have the money. And once again, like, I can see a use for him, but it's very obscure. And generally, if, like, it's kind of like my rankings with civs, too, where it's like, okay, if a civ... Interesting, Sparta way over there. Uh, if a Civ has an ability, like Scotland, for example, uh, like, what is it, the War of Retribution? Which is, which is their one? Uh, I know, um, mm, Happy City, War of Liberation, yeah. Like, it's just so obscure. Is it good? Sure, but it's so obscure. Compare that to, like, Australia, where it's like, oh, war was declared upon you, you get the bonus. Like, that's significantly more useful, because it's less obscure. It happens. Gao actually ended up flipping. Interesting. So, Molly started getting some pop popping out. Uh, and you know what? Yeah, Babylon actually kind of helped that as well. Babylon's kind of sneaking over here. Russia, Russia, you need to do something. So, he is going this way, which we like, but he needs to come this way, man. Uh, pretty much everyone's running around with pikemen. He's popping out more cities. 
Uh, Sparta is flipping in one turn. I think he could have stopped this. Crap, 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 crap. Ah, he could have slowed it down enough. Il Cid is now available. Um, okay. <laughs> Shouldn't it be like El Cid just got recruited? Whatever. Great Zimbabwe popping out for India. I think India is having a really good game here. They got a decent amount of territory. They got a lot of wonders. They got their religion. Um, they're spreading their religion. Actually, it looks like... Yeah, dude, they're pretty much converted Persia. Wow. Okay, so Persia just has one city left with their religion. Huh. Interesting. And it's not even with apostles. It's with freaking missionaries, of all things. Uh, I think Babylon's also having a good game. So this is kind of like the flip. Where, like, the really good civs are having bad games. Uh, well, the civs that did really bad the first round are having really good games. This one. So, what's that mean? I think it means that we're actually going to have a very entertaining <laughs> episode 3. It's not going to be like, oh, well, um, you know, it's going to be so-and-so's game unless something massive happens. Which has been, like, pretty much every time we've done the three rounds. Yeah. Which has been, what, now three, I think. Because we did the Teddy one last, and then I think we started it with the Gandhi win. So we didn't do it the first two times with Brazil and Mongolia. Which, you know, we always kind of just tried tweaking the rules as much as we can just to make it more entertaining. So, yeah, Peter's struggling right now. And Gandhi and Hammurabi are running away with it. They're up 200 points already. That's pretty big. Uh, He's working on it. He's working on it. He's got two freaking uh, 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 missionaries there. I mean, oh, he bypassed it. Wow, he had a chance to kill it off, and he didn't. Uh, I think Babylon, part of their score right now has got to be their religion. They kind of probably have at least 40 right now. 34, okay. And then, wow, dude, six wonders. Wait, two, four, yeah, six wonders. Two for Gandhi, one for Cyrus, one for Simone, zero for Peter, and one for uh, Mali. Caracas flipped, but is flipping back. Uh, and we got war number two here. And once again, Grand Columbia doing a really good job here. Multiple great generals, Commodore generals, and then also a great general. Wait, I thought, oh yeah, they earned Commodore generals per era, which are different than, yeah, okay, okay. For some reason, I thought they were the exact same. Yeah, Molly's not gonna be good this game. Yeah. Oh, he raised it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. interesting. That also might stop the flip. Uh, did he get a Dark Age? Yeah, he got a Dark Age. Molly also got a Dark Age, though. Um, okay. Well, that's a weird one. Did not quite anticipate that happening. Like, I, I, I'm a little surprised by that. Babylon get a Golden Era? No, they just got a Normal Era. And Caracas is flipping to Babylon. Babylon, there's no way they hold it, though. Mm -mm. Like, this could just be easily conquered here by a uh, 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 Grand Columbia. Dude, I'm still really surprised by that. He needs to end up taking Cahokia and then maybe put another city here. I think he probably could throw a city in here without too many loyalty issues. I don't know. We'll have to see. Persia still hasn't really... Yeah, there's just not much war happening over here. I mean, part of it's he got Gandhi. You know, so Gandhi's not the most warlike. But, you know, Gandhi hops in on emergencies, right? Like... Loyalty emergencies? Like, hey, so-and-so took my city. And Gandhi's all like, yes, vengeance for the injured. Right? Where's Russia at now? So, Russia is now about 100 points. They're, they're, they're starting to catch up a little bit with the middle of the pack. But yeah, there's definitely a difference right now between the top and the bottom. I have to say, uh, Babylon score makes a lot of sense. But, on the other hand, here, I, I'm pretty impressed here with India. Like, just because, you know, they aren't as in good of a spot as Babylon. Babylon definitely had a little bit better of a start, I think. Just because they had a little bit more room. Part of it, too, is though Grand Columbia didn't go that way. They kind of went this way, and then they've just been struggling here with Mali. So, Gao is flipping yet again. Dude, I'm so mind-blown by this. <laughs> like, that just doesn't make sense to me. I'm actually really wondering now if Babylon flipping is going to cause... Grand Colombia to war. And they pieced out. I, it's just Caracas is sitting right there. Although now 59 garrison defense strength is a little ridiculous. Uh, Cursiers. Yeah, that's why. Wait, the Cursiers are 64, so minus 10. But then you get it plus 2. So 64 would be 54. Plus 2 for the district would be 56. Plus 2 for the walls would be 58. So how is it 59? There's another plus one somewhere. 
Interesting. I knew, used to know the formula extraordinarily well. I, I'm almost certain it was plus two for districts. Maybe it's plus three per district then. And then plus two for the walls. I know the walls are only worth plus two per level of walls. So medieval walls are plus two on the garrison defense strength. Or sorry, uh, ancient walls are plus two. Medieval are plus four. Renaissance are plus six. I don't know if steel's plus eight. I don't remember that. I, I thought the districts were two each as well. But maybe they're three each if it's at 59. So essentially, it's you just take whatever your strongest melee unit is. Subtract ten if there's no unit in it. Uh, and then yeah add in all the districts and the walls and stuff to get the actual combat strength so like you're at 55 um, The pike and shot is at 55. So then you should be at 45 You have Medieval wall, so that's plus four so 45 and then two districts is six I guess okay, so the districts are three each then oh, Did they always? Were they always three each, or were they two each at one point? I'd have to go back and watch my video. Although, I think I just put this stuff in the description, but... You know, maybe they were three each, back in the day. I'm just misremembering. Um, balloons already? Alright, holy crap. What's the boost on flight? Mm. The boost on flight, industrial era wonder. Yeah, okay, that's why. That's why. Uh, I don't think he has oil at this point, though. It's a little on the early side. Even for Hammurabi, yeah, he has no oil. Lots of niter, though. Uh, what were we gonna look at? Oh, I wanna... See the heroes here. So, Hammurabi ended up with Beowulf, Himiko. Grand Columbia got Oya, Sinbad. And... Gandhi got Sun and Anasi. Anasa, Anasi. God dang, every time! Persia got Hercules and Arthur. Molly still didn't get a hero. Gandhi also... Wait, no, no. Russia didn't get a hero either. Huh. I mean, Russia's not really been at war. Except the one time they declared war on Persia. And then failed miserably. Simone got Oxford University. Okay. Is Russia catching up? Dude, Russia's all the way back up in third. Dude, man, Russia's so dangerous. Babylon's coming and grabbing Gao. Now... And they did end up putting Arachnium there, which is going to help put pressure here on Caracas. Um, yeah, see, part of what happened here is Grand Columbia just doesn't have any uh, 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 cities down here. So they're just not putting any loyalty pressure. So this might maintain as Babylon, even if Babylon gets a Dark Age. Mali might be able to hold on here till the end of the game. But yeah, they're definitely struggling at this point. Um, they're building their Cav, which they already have one. So they're up to 63 years in defense strength, which is a little more useful, especially since Simone's only rolling around with swordsmen. Um, yeah. And then the free city popping out a bunch of units is just hilarious. <laughs> Probably the best thing that could happen to Mali. Okay, what's happening here with Persia? I'm thinking, well, A, they ended up losing most of the religion, so they basically have zero on the religious score. B, I don't know that they really got too many wonders. They don't have a lot of production, so... And they're kind of getting set back a little bit on that. We totally forgot to put a turn timer on. Whoopsie. Also, how long did we end up going? We went to 300, right? Or did we do 275? I'm going to have to go back and look at our last video. Totally forgot to put a turn timer. It's not really that big of a deal because we just have to take a picture. And it might actually be better if we forget to do it because then we can literally, you know, take a picture, which is just nice. Uh, okay, score real quick. Hammurabi is now in first place. Gandhi is in second. It's still a 300 point difference though. And let's see. Gandhi and Hammurabi were both at the bottom, weren't they? Yeah. They were both 500 points below Russia. So at this point, Russia still technically would be first overall. Not by nearly enough though to feel confident going into the third one. They'd still have to have a pretty decent game in the third game. But we shall see. Molly might be eliminated. Because let's see. Molly ended up. Eh, no, he was at 1100. He's probably not going to be eliminated, but he's definitely going to have a very far. Uh, a long shot to basically win. Persia? If Persia can keep within 300, he might be okay. Like, at, at this point, like, if you're Persia, you're just playing to stay close at this point. Same thing even with Russia. You're just trying to stay close. Uh, pop out a wonder when and where you can. Although, like, Persia just is not getting any wonders, it doesn't look like. They're getting Hippolyta. Yeah, but they're not popping out any wonders right now. Really? AT crew? 
Turn 166? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Big Ben. Yeah, see, more, more. And tanks? What? And also building the casa over here. Eh, yeah, you're building battleships. Not the best place for a battleship, though, but sure. You do you, buddy. I won't judge. Uh, he's just got a ton of room right now, which is partly what's happening. So it looks like India is basically the only one building wonders as of right this second. Unless Grand Columbia is popping. They're popping out Oxford and Oracle? You're kidding me? Oracle is yet to be built? Um, okay. That's strange. The funny thing is he's still so close to finishing it. Uh, looks like he's still at war with Grand Columbia too, yeah. So we're going to end up wrapping this episode up here as soon as uh, we're done here in five turns. Which means the next episode's going to be a little long, but that's okay. It's just like, it's just such a weird spot because it's like, I don't want to wait 30 more turns. And so you're just kind of like stuck. Because I think 30 more turns maybe goes too long. Although the 30 turns now are going to be quicker than it is in the future, but yeah, still. I think Rush is catching up just because of the great people points. Let's see. 50. Yeah, they have no wonders right now. What the heck? But they have 50 great people points. Although, yeah, oh, pfft, good for both Hammurabi and Gandhi here. But then, eh, I guess, okay, everyone except Molly's got a decent amount of great people points. And Persia. Yeah, okay. So Persia's just kind of falling behind then. They're building Oxford, but too late because... Yeah, eight turns there. Hmm. Feeling bad for Persia because they did so well the first game and now they're just like, uh, they're struggling. They're struggling. Gandhi is going for nuclear power. Okay. That does not seem scary at all. Um, okay. Well, let's wrap the episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. Next episode, we're going to finish group stage two and then we'll see where we're at after that. Till then, bye everyone.